We're back with the cast of Taxi. Yes, uh, Carol, you became yes. a series regular kind of later in Taxi's run, but we just saw your debut as <laughs> Simka Doblitz opposite the late Andy Kaufman's immigrant mechanic Latka in season two. But what was it like to work with him? And how did he teach you the invented language Latka? Spoke. Yeah. How did he tell you about that? Latka speak? <laughs> yeah. 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 The Latka speak. Um, well, okay. I thought it was so complicated. I wanted to sound just like him and have... There were some words, but most of it was just made up. And, and, how, <laughs> and, and when I you know, told him, I, I really need to study this, and so how do you do it? And he said, well, you know, it's just like when you're a little kid and you open your mouth and you speak Russian. Or, or Chinese, you know, for him it was just an easy, natural <coughs> thing because he could channel being a kid yeah. so yeah. so easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, anyway, he go to a restaurant? Yes, he said we, we have to go out to dinner and we have to go somewhere where no one will recognize us, so <laughs> we're going to Mexico. <laughs> and so I go up to his house in Laurel Canyon and he gets on the phone, and he's on the phone forever in the kitchen. And then I finally came and I said to him, Andy, you know, if we're going to Mexico, we, we better go now. We better leave. And he looked at me like I was out of my mind, <laughs> that, that I believed him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was nuts. So we go to a Chinese restaurant, and, um, <laughs> And we arranged a thing where he ordered, I, I told him what I wanted, he ordered in English, and then the waiter would come and ask me what I wanted, and I had to do it in the language. <sighs> and we just sat there for a couple hours, uh, uh, you know, pretending that I spoke it, and then in, in a little while I spoke it, you know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was all Andy. I just want to emphasize it was all Andy, you know, it was his incredible invention. Yeah. Wow. Well, I heard some tea about what was going on on the set. And my understanding, Tony, is that you said that Mary Lou was your first Hollywood girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I walked in, I saw six guys and her. You know? <laughs> and even if it wasn't six guys, it would have been her, you know? <laughs> the problem is, you don't want your girlfriend to have a great memory. <laughs> I mean, I'm, yes. I'm talking about, she can't, you know, you, don't you remember? Of course she does, she remembers everything. And so <laughs> it's just not something you want. <laughs> well, Chris, beyond Iggy, you are also known for playing the wonderful character Doc Brown. Yeah. 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 And yeah. You and Michael J recently went to see the opening of the musical. Yeah. How was that oh. for you? Oh, it, it, was, it was amazing. You know, I, I, when, they first, when I first heard it was gonna happen some two years before it did, right. I thought the, the, the DeLorean is a major part of the show. Yeah, of, of, how are they gonna you know, do it? How are they gonna incorporate that and make it pay off? And they do it. That was the they, first time I'd seen some of that technology in a Broadway show. Mm -hmm. the, the DeLorean and the, uh -huh. I don't want to ruin it for anyone, but that was unlike <laughs> anything I'd ever seen. The spoiler, yeah. the car yeah. flies. <laughs> <laughs> Tony! <laughs> Thank Tony for that, I didn't say. But Carol, Taxi kind of marked a turn to comedic roles for you in the 80s, including some favorites like The Princess Bride. Oh, and, so um, <laughs> Jumpin' Jack Flash mm -hmm. with You Were with our very own Whoopi. What do you remember about working with her? I just remember her as just being so inventive and free and brilliant, and it, this was a privilege. It was not an easy, Movie, right? My whoops. Oh, oh. My whoops. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but, but it, it, we just had so much you fun. And I, I like to go in her trailer and meet her daughter and yeah. hang out. And that was oh. fun. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sarah. And our friend Penny Marshall. Yes. Right. God rest her soul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sarah, you know, as you mentioned, somebody mentioned that she was, that's when she took a turn towards comedy. Yeah. yeah. Well, because of that, that respect that she had as an actress, one night she says to me, you want to have dinner with Betty Davis? <laughs> <laughs> and she took me to dinner with, with Betty, Betty Davis. Really? They were yeah. neighbors. Yeah. They were, I, I was like, Oh, okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> I thought this was going to end like the Mexico story. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, it was real. Betty no, Davis was, Carol did a Mexico. play, which she, <laughs> she kept Carol, calling Carol me a play, man. which she played Betty young, Davis. Young, young man. Yeah. Young man. Wow. Well, <laughs> Betty Davis's eyes. Truth, yeah.